Hello, hi, I'm Kupsik Hybrid, and this is a Weekend at Villa Aparte. Now, Weekend at Villa Aparte is a point and click adventure game about a musician who's going to a video game convention but ends up in a life threatening situation that may involve time travel. Now, this is a game that was developed in just two weeks for the Adventure Jam of 2021. It's a pretty lengthy one, and we're gonna check it out together. Strap in, we're going to Bologna. Let's play. Do you want a tutorial? No, thank you. Saturday, 9.15 a.m. Ouch. Worst hangover ever. Or at least I guess. Because my head hurts. But I cannot remember anything. Where am I? What is this place? Hmm, looks like a hotel room. Uh, I don't have my wallet. I can't see my smartphone either. I better find them. Sure. Bedside table? And there's nothing inside. Let's have a peek outside. Move your head a little to your left. What? Never mind, I got it. Back to Saturday, 9.15 a.m. Ouch. Worst hangover ever. Or at least I guess. Wait. Did someone just kill me? I think someone killed you. Oh, I didn't see this in our inventory. USB drive. I'd need a computer to use it. Wait, did that really happen? Move your head a little to your left. Please don't shoot me. Again? Never mind, I got it. Okay, so that did actually happen. <laughs> and this is not Groundhog Day, by the way. Ouch, it happened again! Uh, alright, so I'm not gonna open the window. There's nothing inside. Hmm, I don't think I can take it. But I'm sure I don't want it. Modern art? Okay, this, this might be something. Let's move it to the bed. And check what's inside. Let's see. Just close. Um... Oi, there's also an airline ticket. This. Oh, this reminds me of something. Ooh, back in time. Hi, Paco. How was your flight? Marco? Is that a question? Sorry, but I'm really confused. I woke up... and I was in a hotel room... without understanding how I got there in the first place. Okay... Then suddenly, I'm here, and I don't understand how I got here either. On an airplane from the UK? Then maybe an Airbus and a cab from Bologna's airport? Wait... So this is Villa Apate then? Uh, is this the Italian uh, Adventure Con weekend? You started drinking at home, didn't you? Actually, don't. Don't worry. I'm totally with you, man. Tomorrow we'll work out on our uh, work on our presentation, but tonight we'll celebrate celebrate in advance. Oh, before I forget, take this. It's a copy of our game. There are video those are videos, powerpoints, and documentation. Don't lose it. Okay. But now you must be tired, so go inside. Try to ask for the room key. And, you know, have a shower, then we'll have all the time we need to catch up. Don't wait for me, okay? I've got to make a call. Hmm, alright, so we have this phone. The battery is quite low. It's, uh, it's better if I charge it before making a call home. Hmm, I don't know what to do with it, but it's my wallet, so... There's nothing inside that I need right now. And there's the USB drive. Alright. Let's see here. Events panel. It's a panel with the event list for this weekend. Um, there's a lot of odd stuff. Red room K for higher gathering. Blue room mad scientist gala, gala. Green room ancient one awakening. And in the pink room there's the Italian uh, adventure con. The most important Italian convention for adventure video games. 
AdventureCon is the only event starting on Sunday. The other one started Friday morning and will be all weekend long. I like how, you know, this is an adventure game and we're going to an adventure game convention in the adventure game. Here's my friend Marco. Hey Marco. Yeah? So what did you mean by try to ask for the room key? Oh, well, it's a funny story. I'm listening. Yeah, it's really funny, uh, but a bit boring too. So I'll tell you later, okay? Just go inside. Then uh, you need to uh, tell them you need the room, uh, the key for room 117. I already did a sort of remote check-in, so they won't ask you for IDs. Huh. But if they ask, tell them that they are Mr. Manzoni traveling with Mr. Leopardi, okay? Hey, why do you register us with fake names? Can I at least be Mr. Le Le Leopardi? Not a chance. Go. God damn it. I'll reach you in your room in our room as soon as I finish my call. Are you really making a phone call right now? Well, nope. It's not really a call. Listen, the truth is that I'm really tired and that I don't want to go there and ask for the key. Can you do that for me? Um, why not? It won't be the oddest thing I've done so far. But that's still odd, my man. Nah, I want to drop my luggage before exploring around. Okay. So let's go in. Whoa, we're back to the room. There's surely something odd happening here. That was absolutely more than just a memory. It was like being there again. Like, but conscious about this present. What's going on? And where's Marco? Where's Marco now? I've already checked it. Okay, so this is something. It's the room magnetic key. Okay, touching it, it awakes. Oh, another vivid memory. No, no. You got that the other way around. I'm sorry? We didn't ask how much for using the Wi Fi. That's free and usable everywhere inside the hotel. We asked how much for not using the Wi-Fi. And that's really, really important to us. Sorry. We've been told that in this hotel, you provide every possible service for the right price, of course. Oh, yes. That's absolutely right. Good. This is what we want and need. Sir, do you need assistance? Yes, my man. Concierge. Hotel Park map. Can I check this? Can't take it. Oh, sorry. This is a map of Villa Apate Park. Wow. It's really huge. That's what she said. And has a lot of cool places to see. Hmm, it's an elegant pen. Chained to the desk. Can I use the pen? Sure, but uh, I don't have any paper. In case you need that too. Oh, okay, thanks. I actually don't have anything to write uh, right now. Okay, good to know. Okay, actually, wait, let's save first. Alright. Um, hello? Good evening, sir. How can I help you? My name is Manzoni, or perhaps Leopardi, I'm not sure. <laughs> ah, we were waiting for you, sir. Yes? Hey, what was that for? Why did you just take a picture of me? Oh, nothing I would care about, sir. That's weird. Something just happened. What? Anyway, here's your key, sir. Welcome to Villa Apate. Room 117. First floor. You can use the elevator over there to your left. Huh, okay. Nah, I know I want to drop my luggage before exploring around. Okay. He's odd. 
Well, they're both odd. Man with, with lab coat. Okay, let's go to the elevator, I guess. Okay... Now at least I remember something more about my arrival. And I have the odd feeling that the memory is stuck in my mind. And that I can trigger it again if I concentrate enough. But maybe my best move is to simply go down to the hall and ask the concierge if he knows where Marco is and what I uh, what I did uh, since uh, yesterday evening. Oh, and I can go back. Oh, that's interesting. Wait, why is there... Okay, let's go back here. Why is there a change? What's this? Some brochures about this weekend K for hire event. Some of them also have pictures of some of the speakers. Mad brochure, ancient one brochure, and uh, adventure con brochure. Okay. Good evening, sir. Is there something I can do to help? Um, not for now, thanks. You're welcome. Good evening, sir. Is there something I can do to help? Not right now. Okay, so wait. Didn't I just go to the room? So why do I still have this memory? Oh, okay. So we're just back here. Wait, wait. There's nothing inside. Um... Behind the blankets, there's a bag full of naphthalene pills. Nothing I can make use of, for now anyway. Someone threw up in there. Ugh. Everywhere, like really everywhere. From the outside, I don't see anything interesting. Maybe he just got really drunk. And I sure don't want to go in. Alright. Knock, knock. Um, I know you're there, dude. Who's that? Room service. I didn't order anything. And I don't have any money. Complimentary breakfast. Uh, do you also have coffee? It's the, isn't the moon made of cheese? Of course I have some coffee. Actually, the moon is... Best coffee in the world. Okay. Hurry up. Hey, but do do I know you? Yup. Son of a... We got killed again. Ouch. It happened again. That man. I've already seen him somewhere. But I can't remember where. Okay, okay, okay. Nothing... Okay, let's get these stuff again. Let's move it to the bed. Alright, wait. Get the room key. And let's try to talk... Uh, let's try something else. I know you're there, dude. Wh who's that? Room service. I didn't order anything, and I don't have any money. Complimentary breakfast. Uh, can you come back later? Let's put it this way. It's more likely that I'll kick down the door. Uh, okay, thanks, but no thanks. Go away. Go away. Open this fucking door. I guess I won't. Okay, my bets are you're a few steps back from the door. And you're a little shy of six feet high. Um... God damn it, he shot through the door. Ouch. Uh, it happened again. Uh, that's not good. Alright, wait, so I can't get out of the room. If I open the window, someone's gonna shoot me. If I open the door, someone's gonna shoot me. Alright. Let's go back to the arrival. Oh, sorry, no. Okay. Bar, let's go to the bar. Nah, I want to drop my luggage before exploring around. So I can't go here. No. Okay, let's check the brochures out. I don't need to take it. 
I already know the uh, what school they're in at VentureCon. Us! <laughs> okay. Some brochures about this weekend. Uh, some of them have also have pictures of some of the speakers. Okay. Some brochures about this weekend's a Ancient One Awakening event. Some of them also have pictures of the speakers. Some brochures about this weekend's Mad Scientists event. Uh, okay. Some brochures about this weekend's K for Hire event. Alright. Um, wait. One of the K for Hire speakers is the man who shoot me. I'll take that. So that's that's how I remember him. Maybe it can help me remember why he wants to do that. Okay. H sorry, K for Hire. I know him, but I don't remember how. Oh yeah, because he's gonna kill you later. It's marketing material about the K for Hire event. And there's a picture of a man who's killed me. Okay, so if I go back. Okay, we got the brochure here. The K for Hire brochure. Wow. This wasn't here before. I've taken it in my memory and now it's here. So it wasn't really just a memory, was it? If I can change something in the past, does this change the present too? Well, it makes sense. If I wasn't so scared, I'd be much more thrilled by that. Y yes. I'm sure. One of the speakers is my killer. But where did I meet him? Oh, wait, vivid memory again. <laughs> See, I told you, crashing this party was not that difficult. Um, I have a bad feeling about this, and I'm not happy to have left my smartphone and my wallet to the bouncer. Paco. You could have left it, uh, le left at least the wallet in the room like me. But it's okay. He'll give us back our things when we leave. And I don't like them either. We're just uh, here to for some free booze, okay? A few free, free, free drinks and then we leave, okay? I promise. Free drinks, okay. Man in dark suit. Don't touch it. If you need something, just ask. Okay. Credit card. It's a credit card. This one really looks like a cheater. A cheater? Hi! Hi. What do you need? Fake IDs, fake passports, fake driving license? Clone credit cards? Just ask. Uh, thanks? I'll think about that. If you're interested, hurry up. These clone credit cards may not work forever. Okay. A panel about the hunting. There are names, times, and places. Written in some sort of code. Mm, I don't think it's a good idea to mess with this. I'm not sure I want to talk to him. Not sure I want to talk to him either. Hi! Hi. And now shut up. I'm here to listen to our leader. Okay. Is this a gun? It's a rifle. Painted in an odd color. Even that way it doesn't look like a toy at all. Maybe because it's not a toy? Hi. Hi. What do you need? Rifles, guns, missiles, bombs? Just ask. Uh, thanks. I'll think about that. He looks like someone born angry. <laughs> Hi. Hmm, I don't like your face. Jesus, okay. Okay, let's go get drinks. You, stop. What? Come here, now. I've just received a picture of one of our secret antagonists. And I think you look like him. I don't. Listen everybody. If he if he or his stupid friend try to run, shoot them. Take off your sunglasses now. It's him. 
Come here now. Both of you in front of me. Oh no. You're you're either the bravest men I've ever met or the most stupid ones. I think this must have been a mistake. Shut up. Well he Shut up. Hey. No need for that now, number two. Number six. Give him something to drink. A spritz. Number seven. Go and take our special pills from the storage room. Don't worry. Not the poison. Just something to loosen your tongue. Drink. <laughs> wow. I'm starting to feel dizzy. Amateurs. Is this your first uh, Rofebnal? We'll take them uh, to our night hunting party. We already have a prey. But one more means more fun, so we'll take the one with the hoodie with us. Oh, thanks? Meanwhile, now that he's drugged, after a chat we'll free the other one. For tomorrow's morning hunt, as a special prize. As you wish. But now, my friends, it's time for a toast. To celebrate this unexpected catch. Call the guard from outside and let's all have a Bindisi with champagne. Brindisi with champagne. Okay. Now I know what happened. And why, uh, why, but why do I feel so confused? But what can I do now? Marco's probably dead by now. So running away and calling the police, even if it, if that was possible, won't fix anything. Considering the brochure taken from the past, I wonder if I can change something in my memory before things uh, go to south. But to do so, I need to find something to trigger a memory of a moment before that party. Uh, okay. Nope, I don't want to go in there. Make the paintings? I don't think I can take it. I sure don't want it. Modern art? Modern art, modern art. It's my sports bag. Pillow. Hmm, it's just a normal pillow. Oh, Marco's wallet! He told me that he left it uh, here uh, somewhere. But, uh, mm, no money. There's an ID though, anyway. Now I remember Marco hiding this thing under the pillow. So that's the memory. Let's see if I can use that image. Alright. Business. Oh no, it's his business card. Okay. I don't know what to do with it. Oh no, wait. Friday room 17. Is that it? Oh yeah, that's it. The hotel bar is really expensive, but there's a party for each of the three events that have already started. So we just have to crash in one of them. Yeah and have some fun. I don't wanna go. Come on. Why? There's something I have to tell you. You'll think I'm crazy though, but it's the truth. Well, I already, I'm already thinking you're crazy. I'm not really here, or rather I'm not really now. I mean, I'm actually here, but tomorrow morning? Okay. I do think you're crazy. There's some dudes in suits that want to kill me. They look. Uh, they took us when we crashed their party. I don't know why. But they drugged us. Okay. Well, that's it. I keep on dying and restarting the same day tomorrow. But I can go back with my mind to... Well, now. Hmm. I know you can't uh, you can't start to believe me, but it's the truth. Mm, actually, I do believe you, man. Are you nuts? Well, it's a funny story. What story? Let's skip that for now. But the point is, I believe you. So we need to figure out what to do. 
Well, we can start avoiding those guys' party. This way, they'll leave us alone, right? It might not be so simple. So if you are, uh, if you are, uh, if you are already the target, then it's highly probable they'll come after us all the same. Right. Hey, what do you know about that? Well, we can talk about it once all this is over, okay? We need to make them change their attitude towards us somehow. How hard can that be? Seriously? Yep. Okay, so Marco knows something. I mean, he should just tell me. There's just some clothes here, and I don't need them right now. Any idea about how to go? How to go on? No clue whatsoever. Okay, so wait. What happens if I? I can't do that. Okay, let's just go downstairs and not go to the party. At least not right away. It's door locked. 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 Okay, everything's locked. Well, makes sense, but I, I had to try. Red, green, blue, pink. Okay, let's go here. Good evening, sir. Is there something I can do to help? Um, not for now, thanks. You're welcome. I'm sorry, sir, but that office is private. It's our control room. Okay. Blue room. There's info about the MAD Scientists event and the detailed event list. MAD stands for Most Advanced Development. But reading the event themes, one can think that's not only an abbreviation. Because <laughs> they're all mad. Pink. The sign says that the pink room is closed. It will open on Sunday morning. Alright, because that's where AdventureCon is. Okay. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Let's save really quick. The hall. Now, let's see see what we got in here. The red and green rooms. Because they're all convention rooms. Okay, so this is the, the K4 Hire thing. This is info about the K4 Hire event and the detailed events list. I have to admit that from the description, it's hard to understand what do they do. They do cleaning, explaining, hunting, providing. But that, well, what does that mean? Well, it means they're contract killers, man. Hi. What do you want? What do you do during these gatherings? A lot of interesting things. But mainly we mind our own business. So I don't think it would be your thing. Right. There's info about the Ancient One Awakening and the detailed event list. Oddly, even if the convention clo closes officially on Sunday evening, there are no events after tonight. Oh, look at the dark kid. Look at the wannabe punk here. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry, but who's the Ancient One you want to wake up? How many Ancient Ones do you know? Fair point. Cthulhu? Does he mean Cthulhu? Uh, wait, can I go inside? Hey, it's a private event. Affiliate members or, or on trial uh, check guests only. And I don't recognize you, so get lost. And I mean now. Okay, so how... But we got to the party before. Okay, the bar. Alright, the bar. It doesn't seem interesting. It doesn't seem interesting, it's a human being. Come on, Paco, what the hell? Hi, what can I get you, sir? Uh, what do you have? Well, a wide selection of fine wines, of course. And beers, too. I can also make cocktails. My specialty is preparing margaritas. 
Oh, can I have a margarita? Sure, it would be 25 euros, plus tip. Whoa. Wait. Yeah, I don't have that kind of money. I can give you a glass of tap water then. It's 5 euros. Never mind. A distinguished but obviously tired woman. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Have you by any chance seen a little dog around? I've lost my Bruno around midday. He's not used to staying alone. He'll be so scared. Is Bruno a dog? Anyway, no, I didn't see any animals since I got here. Okay. Could you please let me know if you see him? I'm here w with my son, but he's useless when I need him. And they hate each other. Do you want to see a picture of my Bruno? It's uh, I, I got plenty on my smartphone. Yeah, maybe another time. Hmm, she's odd but charming. How do you get that? That she's charming. Hello, handsome. I need something from my room. But I'm too lazy to go. Would you mind going there and bringing me something for me? Bringing me something? Hey, do you trust this random guy to go into your room? Oh, sweetie, I'm too lazy to care. And I always trust smart looking people. Well, he doesn't look that smart to me. Ouch! Hey, I'm here, you know. Oh, he doesn't need to be Einstein smart. He just needs to be smart enough. To, uh, smart enough to know that he doesn't want to disappoint my son. And who's your son? If you are, uh, are to be, if you'll be nice and behave, you won't need to find out. I understand. So what do you need? My knitting tools and wool balls. And, um, well, also a little pink pack from the bathroom. Would you go? Uh, yes, sure. Thanks, then. Here's my room card. And your friend can entertain us while you're away. Okay. Sorry, Marco. Okay. Room 115. Let's see if I can find something here. Yes! Taken! Sanitary pad. Oh, it's a pack of female sanitary pads. Okay. Anything we have? Big purse. Um, in the door there are a lot of identical sunglasses. I'll take two. Okay, so that's how we got the sunglasses. I hope no one will notice. Okay, so she has the sun... So, so she... Okay, so her son must be someone from the K4 Hire uh, event. So her son is a contract killer. Let's take what she has for. I don't have to use any use for them. Alright. We got everything. I hope. Here you are. Your room card and your wool balls. Thanks. And the pack you asked me for. Oh, thanks. But that was not for me. Please give it to the bartender. She's the one that needs it. Okay. You've been so kind. Thanks. If you come back later, maybe I can give you something done with the same, the same wool. Oh, thanks? Uh, bye. Okay, let's give her the pads. Uh... Hi, the lady over there asked me to give you this? Oh, it's a bit embarrassing, but thanks. Why? She's been so kind. I really needed them and I've run out. Yeah, it's fine. Library. Too many books. Even if something is interesting, I need to know what to search for. Hmm. There's a book titled... Wait, what? Oh, sorry. Oh, come on. Okay, okay, I'm gonna reset all this because I wanna read it again. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad. Alright. Um, okay, there's a book titled... The Philosophy of Time Travel. It matters. 
using memories as portals. It's almost possible to move freely in time with memories working as lighthouses, or what we're doing right now, if you can focus on some specific memory. You can go back and revive that exact moment. It's theoretically, pos theoretically possible also to change that past. If it happens in a way that prevents the ulterior situation, that ulterior situation would be erased. So being killed in the past is possible, and it's not a paradox, because you've jumped back to the, to the already lived past, and that can simply restart the timeline. Wow. Not sure to have uh, understood uh, anything, except the part of better not be killed. Hmm, too many books. Even if there's something interesting, I need to know what to search for. Hmm, there's a book titled The Art of Point and Click Adventure Games. Cool. I'll show you it later on. Hmm. Toilets. Um, why should I use a women's toilet? Right, you're right. I don't need to use a toilet right now. Um, why should I use the employee's toilet? It's probably the one that the bartender uses. Okay. Let's save again. There we go. And let's talk to her again. Hello, handsome. I finished a nice woolly hat made just for you. Oh, thanks? Do I need anything? Do you need anything? I'm fine, thanks. So sweet of you to ask. Right. Horrible wool hat. It's a horrible and itchy wool hat. Let's put it on. And the glasses? Marco, take these. Yep, thanks. They're quite cool. Let's put them on. Okay, so now let's try to get into the K for hire convention. We look cool now, so... That changes everything. Mm, okay, you both have a familiar feeling. So you're good to go, but you know the rules, no weapons inside, no cell phones, no whatever I don't want you to have. Hey, death wish so early in the evening, no, 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 when he says hey, he means of course, odd, but I don't care odd, so just give me everything and go in. I'm starting to dislike you, and that's not good. That's not, not good for you. Alright. Well, we're back here, and, and Marco is in the room. Come on, Marco, come inside. Okay, so we don't have the phone anymore. Hi. Hi. What do you need? Fake IDs, fake passports, fake driving license, clone credit cards. Just ask. Uh, thanks? I'll think about that. I'm not sure I want to talk to him. I'm not sure I want to talk to him either. Hi! Hi. And now shut up. I'm here to listen to our leader. But... Wait. Are you number 8's brother or something? Your hat really sucks, and it reminds me of that terrible hat number 8's mother always makes. Terrible hats uh, she makes, okay. Number 8, so number 8 is her son, okay. At least we got something. Hi! Hi. What do you need? Rifles, guns, missiles, bombs? Just ask. Th thanks, I'll think about that. Hi! Mmm, I don't like your face. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, okay. Spritz! I'm tempted to have some, but I'm here on a mission. 
And technically I'll, I'll have this later, right? I'm tempted to have some, but I'm here on a mission. Wait, so this is... oh, champagne. He has a dodgy grin. <laughs> Storage room. Hi! Get lost. By the way, you have a very nice hat. My mom knits uh, similar ones all the time. Um, are you number eight? One of your friends over there uh, hates these hats. And told me something uh, ugly about your mom's taste. Mm, even after our last chat, number five can't keep his mouth shut about that. I think it's time to explain to him where he should put his hat-related remarks. Cover me here. Uh, sure. Any idea how to go on, Marco? No clue whatsoever. See, you know what bothers me? That Marco knows something and he's not telling me. Marco, wait here. Okay. Oh. Okay. Handcuffs guy. Well, that's new. Jar full of pills. It's too big to steal. And stealing them is not enough to remove these men's threat in a permanent way. Wait, so this is... It's a big jar filled with whitish pills. There's a huge R on it. R for Rafibnal. Uh, hmm, huh. they look similar to something else I've already seen. So this is what they gave me. Okay. This is what they gave me when they when they caught me. He's definitely a prisoner. Hmm, you don't seem want to be one of them. Please help me. Who are you? Why are you tied down? I'm Paolo, one of the mad scientists. I'm tied for a stupid misunderstanding. What kind of misunderstanding got you tied up? Well, I misunderstood how good these crazy men are in detecting not working devices. What? How could I imagine that they would try to detonate them? Okay. Anyways, please help me. Well, I'm in a situation too. So any advice about how to handle these crazy guys? Uh, it would be very appreciated. Well, you're free to move. So go ask my friends for support. They're in the blue room. I'll try. Take my card from my pocket. You'll need it to enter the blue room. Please hurry. I don't know what their intentions are for me. But something tells me that they won't simply keep me here for the weekend. Right. Oh, he might be... The hunt. He might be the target for the original hunt. It's the kidnap side uh, scientist's magnetic card. Alright, alright, let's get out of here. I hope they won't stop me along the way. Oh no, they're all looking at me. Just stay cool, stay cool, Marco. Nice, we're out. Phew, alright, let's go. To the blue room! Well, I can't see it's blue because this is a memory, but it's fine. I like the music, the music is so... it's like, so relaxing, so Italian, it's like, yay! Chillax! Have some coffee! You know, have a little pasta, don't worry, and it's like, I'm fighting for my life here! The door's locked, unless there's a card reader. So I guess I need some kind of magnetic card. Okay, sorry, yeah. Let's use the card. It works! Now the door's unlocked. Alright, the man with lab coat. He seems like a movie doctor. I mean, a fake one. Okay. I like how uh, Marco just comes through the door. Hi! Hello, a new face? Are you a new Madden member? And how much do you love robots? Well... Robots are great! So I make great robots, like the one over here. 
Okay. But I need to... If you're not here for robots, please speak to Andrea. Uh, he's our... He's our Dean. Okay. Please don't touch it. It's very delicate. Wow, it's quite impressive. Even if it doesn't seem able to do anything at all. It seems like uh, like a giant TV stand, actually. <laughs> Hi! Hello, a new face! Are you a new MAD member? And how much do you love rockets? Well... Who doesn't like rockets? Rockets are great! So I make great rockets. Like the one over here. Okay. But I need to... Oh, if you're not here for uh, rockets, please speak to Andrea. He's our Dean. Right, right. Oh, it's quite impressive. But it's made out of paper mache? Oh, it's not a real. Okay, so they, they don't make real stuff. Please don't touch it. It's very delicate. Hi. Hi. Who are you? Well, I'm here because... Um... Please speak to Andrea. He's our Dean. Okay, I... Hi. Are you Andrea? Hi, a new face. Why are you here? Are you lost? No, I'm here because... Um... Please speak to Andrea. He's our Dean. Okay, so the last guy is the Dean. Oh, suitcase. What's this? It's a metallic suitcase. It seems heavy. What? Uh, probably can't see what's inside, right? Don't touch it. Alright. Hi, bad news, Paolo's been kidnapped by some men in suits. He sent me to ask for your support. Danger is real, guys. They didn't hesitate to kill me, for instance. That's really unfortunate. But we're not action heroes, we're scientists. You, on the other hand, look like a strong guy. Really? You should help him. Indeed, and I have a perfect idea. Two birds with one stone. You could give the potion D to stop the guys in suits. And also inject you with a SH serum. What? You mean to use him as a test subject? For our new DNA modifying drug? Our superhuman serum? The one you have been selected to try? A cheap trick, but smart indeed. Hey, wait, 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 I don't want to take any of those drugs. It's, uh, let's contemplate the situation analytically here. We want you to free our friend. What uh, do you want? Well, we want something to stop these guys in a permanent way. Without killing them, if possible. Well, if you want that, Potion D is perfect. Find a way to make them drink it and they surely won't think about you anymore. But we'll only give you Potion D if, uh, to you if you try the SH Serum. It will make you a superhuman, stronger, cleverer, more attractive. One of those things, or none of them. And that's if you survive. Nonsense. It's totally safe. Only 95% of our lab rats died after taking it. Oh, it doesn't seem safe to me at all. Well, they were small. You'll do better. But the point is... Whether you try the SH Serum uh, and we give you the, po the Potion D, or you don't take it and we don't give you the Potion. What? What? That doesn't really make... And if those men are after you, well, your choice? Ugh. Okay, I'll take that Serum. Good. Two notes. It will take a few hours to kick in. Then your body will start to change. We could check it if it works tomorrow morning. You'll probably wake up quite confused. If you wake up, that is. Whatever. When you wake up, come here. We'll do a checkup and see how things are going. And the second guy? Well, we'll keep him here with us. He's a prisoner, as a prisoner. 
till we see you tomorrow. Hey, why? Well, if you become superhuman, it could get a bit messy with your head. Uh oh. That's not good. It could get messy with your head when it kicks in, so it's better if we have some leverage over you. What? Now that everything is sorted out, take this. And make them drink it. Good luck. And here we are. Po potion SH injected now. Ouch! Damn it. Okay. It's a vial containing a disabling potion. Whatever disabling means. Wait for me here. I'll be back, Marco. Thanks. I know you will. <laughs> yeah, Marco is not very helpful, apparently. Although he knows something. The bastard. He knows something. He doesn't want to do anything. At least he doesn't want to share, which is a real problem. I mean... I could have done a lot better if I knew what was going on and what he knew too. Alright, so I'm just gonna have to put the serum in their drinks. Let's save real quick. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Not, don't make eye contact. Okay, there's no one here. Alright, let's... Use it on. Well, they gave me the spritz, so let's put in the champagne. Hmm. If I want to do everything in the safest way, I should also try to remove the rohypnol uh, issue before spiking the champagne. Alright. It's too big to steal, and stealing them is not enough to remove the man's threat in a permanent way. Whitish pills. Hey, that looks similar to something else I've already seen. Something similar that he's already seen. That's what? Whitish pills. The naphtalin pills. The naphtalin pills in his room. Because their 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 naphtalin is white, so is that just like to preserve like like clothes for a long period of time? I believe that's. I mean, I don't think it's used anymore. But yeah, let's see here. Um, ah. behind the blankets, there's a little bag full of naphtalin pills. These pills are only similar enough to, uh, to the Rohypnol ones. Let's take them. Okay. There are a bunch of naphtalin pills. I mean, I don't think you're supposed to ingest naphtalin, but uh, you know what? We don't have any option right now. This is a matter of life and death. Also, I don't have a lot of time because I've been injected with the Superhero Serum. And I don't know what uh, that's gonna do. And I can't waste time. Wait, if I go back, what is it? It's... Uh, okay, it's still back here. Okay. I still can't get out of the room, I guess. And I'm not gonna try. Okay. Okay, let's switch my pills with theirs. A drink spiked with naphtalin won't be that healthy. But it surely won't make me unconscious. Right. You know, I'm just gonna burn my insides. Let's pour potion, uh, potion D in the champagne magnum. Now, I have to make sure that all of them drink it. Well, they're all in the room, so... Okay, they're all looking at me, so let's take the hat off. And... Talk to this guy, right? Because this guy was the one who saw me. Hi! Hmm, I don't like your face. Hi? What do you need? Think about it. Oh, this guy. No, this guy is number 8, right? I don't want to talk now. Huh. You, stop. Okay, that's good. Come here, now. 
I've just received a picture of one of our secret antagonists. And I think you look like him. Okay, let's see if my plan works. It's him! Come here now. You're the bravest man I've ever met. Or the most stupid one. Number six? Give him something to drink. A spritz. Number seven? Go and take our special pills from the storage room. Okay, bottoms up. Don't worry. Yes, I know, not a poison. Just something to loosen my tongue. I know the drill. <laughs> yeah, I've done this before. Eh, tastes a bit disgusting, but it's okay. He's better than I thought. Should we take him to our night hunting party? Mm, we already have a prey. We'll have a chat and then we'll free him. For tomorrow morning's hunt. As a special prize. As you wish. But now my friends, it's time for a toast. To celebrate this unexpected catch. Call the guard from outside and let's all have a brindisi with champagne. Yes, drink it, drink it, yes. I'm sorry boss, but I don't feel too well. I may have to run to the toilet. I don't feel okay either. And I may need to go to the toilet as well. So do I. So do I. For a special disabling potion, it seems to have worked in a quite common way. Gives them diarrhea, but that's good too. Let's free the prisoner and leave this place. Oh. I don't feel too well either. Really confused. What's happening? Oh, Saturday 9.15. Ouch. Worst hangover ever. Wait. I remember. He, we tricked the men in the suits. So why do I feel so bad? Ah, maybe the superhero serum. Superhuman serum. I need to reach those scientists and force them to help me. And to free Marco too. Okay. Under the pillow there's Marco's wallet. I'll leave it there for now. Okay, do I get this? Okay, yeah. I can get the room key. Wait, so... Oh, so there's no one outside now. And I can't go anywhere. Okay, okay, cool. So, this this is progress. This is progress. Nice. We're out. Mm, I have an odd feeling. I don't feel good. I must reach those mad scientists as fast as I can. Oh, jeez. Why are your eyes green, man? That's not good. I don't feel good at all. No, no, no. I feel that I'm changing. What's happening to me? That damn potion. I feel... My head. Oh, he became a zombie. Oh, that's so cute. Ouch. I think that it's already too late to ask the scientists for, to help me. With the superhuman, uh, superhuman serum effects. So, oh, and now we can go back, wait, wait, so this is, oh, so this is before getting to the, to the mad scientist, wait, why, okay, wait, let me save, so we're back before we got the, the serum and the thingy, okay, so we need to change something. Let's go to Andrea. Hi. Bad news for you. Paco, uh, pa sorry, not Paco. Paul's been kidnapped. I'm Paco. That's really unfortunate. Yes, I know. But you could give me the potion D to help him. Yes, but I have an idea. Yes, I know that too. You want to inject me with the SH serum. 
and to kidnap my friend to have leverage. You're actually quite smart to be... Yes! Uh, but let's uh, let's go, shall we? And make them drinking it. Good luck. And here we are. Potion SH injected now. Ouch! Uh, Alright. So we're at the same spot. So... Okay. Hi. Hi. Why are you still here? Go and save our friend. Before it's too late. Thank you so much. I'm so happy you took the superhero serum. Yeah, I mean, instead of me. Is that so dangerous? Are you serious? It changes your DNA trying to reassemble it. It's like Russian roulette with an all loaded gun. Oh, great. Why did you accept to take it then? Well, I've lost the Rock, Paper, Scissors, Lizard, Spock tournament. Oh. Is there any way to reduce its risks? You mean apart from avoiding it? Yes. Well, before entering in the human system, it's highly unstable. So, if it's in the open for too long, or if it's outside its protected environment, then it rapidly reduces its power. I mean, also a simple Wi-Fi could weaken it. Wi-Fi? Really? Okay. Wi-Fi. Let's... Wi-Fi. Okay, so I need to use Wi-Fi to weaken the serum before... Before giving them the thingy. Let's talk to this guy. Good evening, sir. Is there something I can do to help? A uh, quick, a quick question. Have you got Wi-Fi available everywhere in this hotel? Uh, sure. But that doesn't mean we have it now. What do you mean? Well, someone paid a lot of money to disable it everywhere. And of course, we did. What about the other guests' opinions? What about their money? Well, I guess you won't enable Wi-Fi now, will you? Not without more money. Okay, so I need to pay this guy in order to... Oh, right, because right at the beginning, the scientists were talking about you know, wanting Wi-Fi disabled. But why the hell would they want Wi-Fi? Because of the serum? Because they wanted to test the serum. Alright, so... Wait, can I get... I'm sorry, sir, but that office is private. It's our control room. I need a way to distract him. Even for just a second. Okay, I'm gonna need some help. And first, I'm gonna save. Alright, let's go back to the scientist's room. And this time, we're actually gonna... I mean... Let's just say it's a stroke of luck. I, I thought of asking Marco. Wait for me, I'll be back. Thanks, wait. Wait, can, I can't get Marco? Uh, wait, so how do I get Wi-Fi? Uh, wait, 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 let me think. Oh crap, I can't. Because they're, they're keeping him here. I need to do it before. Okay, 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 okay. I need to do it before I re I, I go to the scientists. Okay. Okay, so he's gonna come in. And he's gonna kill me and then it's gonna be... Actually, I don't know. Is it gonna reset the memory? I don't know. Ouch! It's happened again. Wait, so how do I get here? Okay, okay, never mind. Okay, so in the memory, I'm still in the same place. In the present time, I can still loop in the present, but I, I can't loop in the past. So I need to... I need to die again. I need to die. So let's get the... Uh, uh, these pills 
change them. Right, I, I need to to suffer from the serum again, then restart this memory, get get the Wi-Fi back on, and then get the serum and stuff. Alright. It's, uh, it's quite, you know, quite a mind fuck. <laughs> but it's, you know, it's fine. I like it. I like it, I like it. It takes a lot of experimentation, but you, you get you get the hang of it. Time is uh, but a circle. Okay, let's switch my pills with theirs. A drink spike with naphthalene won't be that healthy, but it surely won't make me unconscious. Let's see this guy. Hi, I've talked with your friends and they gave me a disabling potion. Potion D. Far-fetched, but it could work. Who's supposed to use it? Me! None of them decided to come, because they're pussies. Okay. That makes more sense. They also injected me with a thing called Superhuman Serum. Why did you let them do that? Are you insane? Okay, well... I think that answers my question about how safe it is. Right. Does, does he know anything? Okay, never mind. I thought he would know something about the serum. All right, so let's let's spike this, and now let's do this again. Take the hat off, and you stop. Come here now. I just received a picture of our uh, of one of our secret antagonists. And I think you look like him. Okay, let's see if my plan... Sorry, let's see if my plan works. It's him. Come here now. Okay, so wait, I'm just going through the same motion, right? Stupid. Number six, give him the spritz. Or spritz? Spritz. Let's say spritz. Got this from the storage room. Got that. Bottoms up. And then, or I could take the the credit card to pay the guy at the reception. Remember, he he said about the money. Maybe I can steal the credit card from from this guy, the the guy that has fake IDs and and clone cards. Okay, let's just go through all this because I I've been through all of this. It's fine. I don't feel too good. Really confused. What's happening? Oh. Okay. So never mind. So I can't get the the thingy. Worst hangover. Wait. I remember. He we took them in the suit. Okay. So now now I'm still under the influence of the serum. Right. Okay. I get it. So now I'm gonna turn into a zombie again. It's okay. It's alright. You know what? Sometimes you just become a zombie. But the end result is gonna be good. I hope. I feel... I am, I am, I am a zombie. Hello, hello. I can't sing, but you know. But Paco can. He's a musician. Well, maybe he, not. he can't sing, but... Ouch. I think it's already too late to ask the scientists to help me with the superhuman serum effects. But, alright, let's put this in, let's get this, and let's go, alright, so we, okay, it's good, so it reset, we didn't get the serum yet, come on Marco, I need your help, for once in this freaking game, I want to enable Wi-Fi, cool by me, could you mind distracting the concierge while I try to sneak in his office? Let's try it. Nice. There we go. We're in the control room. Router. Oh, it's a so kid. It's the hotel main router. And it's off. Alright, let's turn it on. The Wi-Fi router is off. Let's turn it on. 
Done. Yes, now the connection works. Let's send him our data so we have the information we need to proceed. Oh, that's the... <laughs> that's the awakening one. The, 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 sorry, the Awakening the Ancient One um, room. Oh, great. They're gonna get into the mix. Marco! I'm done, come on. Good. It was getting harder to fool this one. Hey, what do you mean? <laughs> uh, never mind, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so now the Wi-Fi is on, the serum should be hopefully less lethal? Hi, bad news for you. Paolo's been kidnapped. That's really unfortunate. Yes, I know. But you can give me the potion D to help him. Yes, but I have an idea. Yes, I know that too. You want me to inject me to the, with the SH serum and to kidnap my friend to have leverage. Well, you're actually quite smart to be... Yes. But let's go, shall we? And then make them drink it. Good luck. And here we are. Potion SH injected now. Ouch! Again. Alright, it's fine. We're good. We're good. Let's get uh, the naphtaline fills. The naphtaline fills? No, pills. It's hard to speak for an hour and 11 minutes. I, I really like that. You know, I mean, this was made again. This was made in just two weeks, and look how how complex it is. How many layers the game has? You know, going back and forth, uh, present and past. You know, having to test out various things to see what works. It's um, it's really cool. I like it. I like it. I like it and I, that's why I'm covering it. And if you want to see more coverage of uh, well, indie games in general, point and click, point and click adventure games um, in particular, or you know more uh, adventure jam games, definitely check out my channel and and support me, cryptichybrid.locals.com. Okay, let's disable this gang once and for all. This time without the superhuman serum in my blood. Then I'll just play it safe back in my room until tomorrow morning when I can go and ask mad scientist to release Marco okay Saturday 9.15 oh so I just skipped through all of that okay ouch worst hangover ever wait I remember I simply drank all the spritz on my own oh yes it's just a hangover this time let's go to the blue room and get Marco back. All right, let me get this. Okay, so uh, like I was saying, if you want to support me, you know, doing you know more gaming coverage, you know, game, you know, live streams, gameplay videos like this one, uh, developer interviews, check out cryptichive.locals.com. Four dollars a month subscription service, lots of perks. All right. Uh, what the hell? I think I've met him before, or someone similar, before returning to my room. But surely I, I didn't meet those guys. What's going on here? Ah, oh, shit. The, the freaking goth kids. Uh, he seems to be in a lot of pain. What happened? Not sure. A translation problem maybe? Or an execution one? Summonings are always tricky, you know? And, and ancient gods are not famous for their forgiveness. What? Or maybe the circle didn't work well enough? And so when the ancient god fully came into our existence plane, we couldn't specify in time we were his devoted friends. What? Or that ancient god, nicknamed by Sumerian people World Destroyer and Soul Devourer? was not the right one to summon in order to rule the world. Sorry, did you summon a god called World Destroyer? If so, the problem might be that you're stupid as fuck. 
You don't seem that smart either. If I... Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Hey, he's got something on his hand. I should check it. Okay. I can't talk uh, with him without the medium. Let's check if he's carrying something useful. Like a card, maybe. Nothing. Uh, but there's a sign on his right hand. Similar to the one on his clothes with the pentagram, but painted with red ink. Okay. Demon. Uh, hello? <sighs> Suddenly, I don't feel too... Uh, oh, come on. Shit. Um, ouch. Oh, I really hope to be able to handle even this thing. If I can return to when I've met that man. Okay. Let's move it to the bed. Alright, so... Friday... Wait, Friday meeting man with hood. So when was this? So this was... This was after? After getting the... Getting the serum? There's no one in the red room. Everyone's gone. Can I get the credit card? Taken! Nice! I got the credit card. It's a credit card, probably cloned. Okay. Can I get the gun? Nah, I don't want it. I'll, I'll probably shoot myself. Okay. Is the guy still here? No, he's gone. Okay, so I rescued him. I rescued him, and so th then, then Marco must, m but must still be at the scientists with the scientists. But the killers are gone. Okay, so let's go to to get Marco then, because I did what they wanted me to do. I rescued Paolo, their friend. Oh, this guy. Hmm, he seems too young to be a D&D wizard. <laughs> Hi. Leave me alone. I'm trying to mine to do a mind trick on the concierge to force him to activate the Wi-Fi. And how is that working so far? Leave me alone. Tomorrow I'll dance on your ashes. All right, dude. You're so edgy. Okay, let's go to blue room. Hey guys, where's Paolo? Is he here? I'm not seeing him. Marco! Wait for me, I'll be back. Thanks, I know you will. Wait, I can't get him? Well, did, didn't I rescue? Hi! Bad news for you. Paolo's been kidnapped. Oh, wait. But no. Oh, they gave me the serum again? What? Why? Okay, I don't know why they gave me the serum again. Because I already... Okay, that's not good. Right? That's not good that I got the serum again. But the Wi-Fi must still be on. So maybe... Maybe this is a bug? Mm, boy with hood. Mm. Okay, so he's a... You know what? Let's try to get into the... Oh, what's it called? Into in, into the uh, awakening uh, thingy. Let's use the pen to make the sign. Can I use the pen? Sure, but I don't have any paper. In case you need that too. I could draw on my hand the sign I've seen on the dead cultist's hand. Done. But of course the pen is black and not red. That's fine, maybe. Let's let's try to get in with like this. Come on. Red room. Okay, let's see. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry, but who's the ancient one you want to wake up? How many ancient ones do you know? Fair point. Oh sorry, no, I just had to go in. 
Hey, it's a private event. People that will survive Ancient One calling only. You've got the wrong clothes. But who am I to judge other people's crap taste? Show me your hands. What kind of brother are you? Are you colorblind or something? Anyway, even if the sign was correct, the color is not. And I cannot let you in. Okay. So we can't get in. Because we need a red sign. Okay. Let's uh well, let's say first. Okay, so I need to make the 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 sign on my hand red. Maybe some lipstick. Maybe the the ladies will have some lipstick. Oh, maybe I can get a drink now that I have a, a credit card. Hi, what can I get to you, sir? Can I have a margarita, please? Sure, it would be 25 euros plus tip. Wow. Wait. I don't want to pay so much for a cocktail. I can give you a glass of tap water then for 5 euros. Uh, never mind. Wait, so I can't use this? I'll use it when I really need it. So I don't need a drink. Okay. Hi. Hi. Have you by any chance seen a little dog around here? Do you want to see a picture of my little Bruno? I have plenty on my smartphone. Uh, maybe another time. Maybe the blonde lady. Hello, handsome. Do you need anything? I'm fine, thanks. So sweet of you to ask. Okay, great. Hmm. Too many books. Even if something is interesting. I need to know what to search for. Huh, there's a book titled Super Se Superhuman Serum. Use at your own risk. Well, just reading the book index, it's clear that it surely doesn't suggest you take it. Well, too late for that. There's a chapter also about its transportation. It must be kept inside a lead suitcase, so that's the suitcase in the mad scientist room. And it warns that it would not work if it's too hot, too bright, or even in the presence of Wi-Fi. Hmm. This is surely interesting. So I guess this is some sort of the library is supposed to be like a like a tip, a constant uh, clue as to what you have to do. Too many books. So even if something is uh, interesting, I need to know what to search for. Oh, there's a book titled Point the Kick of Vinci Game. Yeah, there we go. Okay, maybe I can go to the bathroom now. No. No. Maybe I need to get the bartender to go to the toilet. Maybe that's the thing. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. You know where we haven't been? Outside the hotel entrance. Remember, because when we, we arrived, we couldn't just explore. Come on. I don't think leaving the hotel now would be a good idea. Alright. Hedge. Let's try to stain my hand with some red berry juice. Nice! It would not be like having the sign inked in red. But maybe it will look similar enough. Okay. Let's go to the park. The hotel park is more than 300 acres, wow. It could be nice to take a walk around sometimes, but I don't want to do it now. Alright, okay. So we got, the, we got the sign, all red. Nice. Okay. I really thought I would, I would have to get some lipstick, really, but, you know. Apparently not. Now let's, let's go into the Ancient One Awakening room. Show me your hands. You did a mess, did, didn't you? Your hand is all reddish. But it's okay by me. May the ancient gods spare your soul. You can enter. Oh, look at these guys. 
It's closed. Hey, don't touch it. Shut up and pray. Shut up and pray. Who are you? Why are you talking to me? Shut up. It's a game laptop. With a specific transmission program running on it. Can I use my uh, game on it? Wait. Oh no, I can't. Who are you? How do you how do you dare talk to me right now? Shut up. Jesus, dude. Hmm, it's a map of the hotel park with a specific spot a, a spot marked on it. Hey, don't touch it. Who are you? Specific spot. It's a book with a lot of pentagons, pentagrams and monsters. Oh, pentagons and monsters. It looks like a D&D &D guide. Oh Jesus, let's check it out. Um, it's titled e Evil God Summoning for Dummies. Hey, don't you dare, put it down. Nobody but our priests can touch it. Who are you? Okay, what's with the lady here? Damsel in distress. To tell the truth, she looks quite cool. Really? Hi. What's happening here? Do you need some help? Hi. Do I look like a damsel in distress to you? Well, I'm not. But thanks, I guess. Uh, who are you? My name's Rouge. Really? Okay, my real name is Katerina. I'm an anthropology student at Bologna University. Let's just say I don't mind some extra money while I'm studying. Just do an OnlyFans, girl. So sometimes I accept odd gigs from nerds and or weirdos. Okay. How did you end up here, though? The usual stuff. A friend of a friend. I heard they were looking for a virgin for a human sacrifice. Pay was great, so... Wait, are you a virgin? Are you a unicorn? They don't seem to have ever seen a girl, anyway. So, uh, and I took a peek at their magic book? I know it. And the one they got is an outdated edition. With several translation errors. The best one is the 1971 edition. In the 1961, uh, 69 one, the translations uh, used vir virgin, but in the later edition they changed their mind, using terms more related to the female monthly period. Oh. So, are they going to sacrifice you? Well, they have to try it. And don't worry. They want to be real. So these cuffs are uh, are made of clay, tied to the wall with tiny nails. I had to attach it my I had to attach it myself. I risked uh, I risked to free myself just by sneezing. Huh. So, are you sure you're fine? Sure. Okay. What's up here? Oh, they're trying to awaken an ancient god. If that wasn't just bullshit, I would be scared if I were them. I mean, a world devourer? Come on! Don't they, uh, didn't they even see uh, didn't they even see Ghostbusters? But even if they are dumb, dumber than dumb, their contact with the ancient one is real. He knows. Uh, he knows what he's doing. He's the one that's sending them instructions. What? Wait, 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 wait. So. What did they do? Wait, they started a ritual this morning? Somewhere in a pet cemetery in the park? I heard they were supposed to kill a dog. <gasps> Bruno! But one of them said that the dog ran away so they used a roasted chicken instead. Oh Jesus, phew, Bruno's okay I hope. Anyway, they have already started. Uh, and later tonight, they'll go there to finish their ritual. Okay, so... 
how can I stop them? You mean assuming this is all for real? Well, well you can't. It's too late. They have already started the ritual. The ancient god is awake and conscious of us. Even if they stop, uh, if they stop now, he'll enter our world within a few days, becoming even more dangerous if that was uh, ever possible, even possible. So, do you know when they'll they'll go? Uh, being uh, all this a uh, cliche at at the midnight hour, so I must be there before that. You what? Uh, never mind. Okay. Okay, uh, uh, I got it. Good. Uh, bye, I guess? Bye. Okay, so... Okay, 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 okay. wait, wait. What's... Can I check the map again? It's a map of the hotel park, with a specific spot marked on. Maybe that's the spot where the they did the ritual. So what do I need? Do I need to wake up? No, because they're already done. Okay, so I need to stop the ritual. And in order to stop the ritual... Let's go outside. Let's go to the park. Oh, no, no. Let's get the, the book. Let's go to the library and check the... I'm going to guess that's going to be the 1971 uh, book. Let's see here. Now, Superhuman Serum... Let's see here... Yes! Yes, what? This is the exact book I've seen in the cultist room. Okay, see? But the, the other edition, right? Let's take it. Okay. Ancient book. It's an ancient book called Evil Gods Summoning for Dummies. 1971 edition. Summoning, summoning, banishing... This, here's a chapter about how to banish an already half-summoned Ancient One. You can't do that if the summoning is ended. Because in this case, you'd be dead. It's simple. Instead of using the final summoning spell, you have to use a banishing spell. And here it is. Sumerian text with its alphabet transcription. It should be easy. Um, there's a note about the translation issue here. Stones not is not current, the right word is salt. Okay. Salt. So, can I go outside and go to that thingy? To the park. Find the, the spot. I've seen the cultist's map. I think with a bit of luck I can find the spot that was marked on it. But I don't want to try this thing on my own. Marco has been kind of elusive tonight. He surely knows something. I need to have him with me. Okay. But are they gonna give me Marco? That's the thing. Because previously they didn't. So... Wait, let's save. Because this is more progress. Nice. Please tell me I can have Marco back. Hey, it's time to go. What do you mean? I need some help with an ancient god. Ah, at last. What do you mean? We'll talk about it soon. But not now. Hey, he doesn't go anywhere before tomorrow morning. He's our leverage. Check your smartphones. Wi-Fi is back on. You don't need any leverage anymore. What? But we paid thousands of euros for not uh, having Wi-Fi. You can talk with the concierge about that. Bye! Come on, Marco. Let's go to the park. Any idea about how to go on? No clue whatsoever. Oh, you know! Shut up! Shut up, Mar- You know! Well, not don't shut up, just tell me. That's annoying. It's really annoying that he doesn't tell me. He's supposed to be my friend! Or maybe he's the one who lured me here? Alright, I think I can find the spot that was marked on it. Okay... St 
stone circle. It's a stone circle. I would say that inside there are bones of a small animal, the chicken. I don't want to touch it. Supernatural horrid thing. Hi? I see something. But I guess the entity is still too far to interact. Don't you think it's time you tell me something, Marco? Not yet. But yes. You're right. I've got something to tell you. Okay. Okay, that's just stupid. Stone circle. Okay, so in the book it said the book said that the protection circle must be made. It's for our own protection, but also to focus the exact summoning place for the entity. So for this thing right here. Cultists already did that with stones, but that could be wrong or not enough. Mm. Okay, so but it said in the in the book that it was not stones, it was salt. So I'm gonna need some salt, right? To replace the stones. Wait, maybe I can go back and talk to the cultists about it? Or maybe I can swap the book with the one that they have? Actually, let's see that. That would be interesting. Actually, I don't think I can swap because I can only read the book. Wait, maybe I can talk to them. Alright, let's see if this guy has anything new. Hi! I'm sorry, but who... Oh, no. No, 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 that's nothing new. Oh. He can't enter. Okay, that's fine. Can I talk to this guy? Who are you? How dare you know me? Shut up. No. Okay, how do I... Let's check it out. Uh, summoning for dummies. Okay. Maybe she knows something more? Uh, okay, no. Alright, never mind. Let's get some salt then. Oh, can I open this? No. Of course I can't. Okay, so I need... I need to get the cultists out? Or I need to... Yes, I need the cultists out. Maybe I can return... Okay, let's go. All right, we're we're entering uncharted territory here. Let's save. And let's ask her. Hi, I need some salt. Well, I got some salt, but I'm not a shop. I use it for my margaritas. Can you give me can you give me some to me? A packet, maybe? A packet of salt? That would be like 200 margaritas. So it would cost you 5,000 euros. Are you serious? If you don't need the other ingredients, I can give it to you for just 1,000 euros. Plus a tip. Are you mad? Maybe. Okay, can I pay you with a credit card? Sure. Done. Here's your salt. Thanks. Crazy lady. Alright, we got it. It's the most expensive packet of salt on earth. Okay, so he says he doesn't know what to do. Okay, so we're gonna replace the stones with the salt. So that's that's one thing, but after that I I, I guess we're gonna have to come back at midnight. When the entity is almost here, and then banish it. Let's try to reinforce the stone circle with salt. Okay. Not yet, but yes, you're right. I've got something to tell you. I don't want to touch it. It's an ancient book called Evil God Summoning for Dummies. Okay. A greater sacrifice, okay, so a greater sacrifice is needed to complete the ritual, and that means blood, human blood, human blood. So where do I get human blood from? 
Okay, let's go see. Human blood. Where the hell do I get human blood from? Hmm. I need to touch it anymore. Okay, so we need to get human blood. Oh, sorry. Human blood. I mean... Human blood. Maybe wine? No. No, these guys don't have anything. They have the rifle though. Maybe I can get the rifle and shoot someone and get... Uh, anything here? It's heavy and I can't open it without a key. Alright. Maybe I need a key. I don't want it. It really pisses me off that Marco doesn't want to talk. Mm, okay. Let's talk to this guy. Uh, fair point. Oops, sorry. Okay, he can't go in. So, it's closed. Shut up and pray. Shut up and pray. Talking shut up. I don't think they will let me use it. Shut up. Shut up. So where do I get the freaking... Um, where do I get the blood from? The pads, the uh, uh, the bartender, the pads, right? It's it's uh, <laughs> yeah, that must be it. But I need to go into the. Um, oh come on, please tell me I can go without having to ask for fucking permission or something. Not everything has to be a freaking puzzle. Let's see. Hi. Okay, sorry. Because it, it would be really stupid if, if my character would be like, Yeah, I can't go in, it's private. Or, or actually it might be locked. Even if, it, uh, if it's surely gross, maybe this, maybe this is a place in which I can find some female blood. Without having to cut or kill anyone. Alright. Waste bin. Yes! As I hope, there's a used sanitary pad inside. Let's take it. Nothing else here, really? That's it? Oh, they have a bidet, that's nice. Anything else here? No, okay, cool. I like how Marco didn't come with me. Use sanitary pad. It's a use sanitary pad. <laughs> well... Okay, why... I don't know why Marco would just wait for me here, but it's okay. We got it, come on. We got the blood, we got the salt, uh, we, I, I just need to... Oh, actually, you know, I'm gonna save again. I want to be safe. Better safe than sorry! Let's save... There we go. And now let's see how an ancient god looks like. Yikes! Food. Whoa, it's not exactly how I imagined it. What? Okay, it's time that you give me some details. About your boring stuff. Yeah, I agree. But it's a very long story. Food. Make it short. I'm an USS agent. Or to be precise, an USS intern who wants to be an agent. Okay. And forced a little by chances to become one. What's a... what's USS? It's the Unlikely Secret Service, a transnational secret society that tries to prevent subnatural or supernatural events. Whoa. Using out-of-the-world technology that alters probabilities? You mean like Douglas Adams' infinite, infinite probability drive? Yeah, it's similar. USS says that Adams has been an agent for a while now. And something remained in his memory after car can. Food. Uh, long story short, I knew something big would happen here. So I sold a couple of improbability devices, so I have one each. So, so to have one each and send the real agents on a wild goose chase. Why? 
Let's use the worst plan ever. Well, so far so good, isn't it? Now we just have to dump this fellow and I'll get a badge. I'll tell you what I think about so far so good when this god isn't here to listen. Fine by me. So what do we do? What are you doing still here? Be quick. Oh, just use the book? Let's try to uh, let's try the banishing spell. Page 117. Okay. So, listen god. Food. He doesn't seem to be too scared, uh, does he? Shut up. Here. Uh, okay. Rictat halabzukha ho 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 Is he laughing? Maybe it's his way to express pain. You're ridiculous. Can't you speak? Who are you? I respected the Sumerian priests that banished me after a great fight and so many deaths. But you... You're waste. Let me try. Give the book to me. Okay. You'll stop laughing soon, evil god. I will banish you. Oh, that was a good start. And now... Who are you? Parrots? Your Sumerian accent sucks. But you entertain me. I'll let you try the spell one more time before devouring you. We're screwed. We'll never pronounce it right. We even still speak Sumerian. What? I know a couple of guys who speak fluent Sumerian. Who are they? The USS agent I sold the devices from. Wow. You're so screwed. Okay, first things first. Here's my business card. See the phone number? Text it to... Uh, text it to I'm, I'm MG, I got your device. Well, I don't have a cell phone. Find one. But be quick. I'll stay here with the book. Looking for another way to stop that thing. Jesus Christ. I don't know what to do with it. Okay. Ali, it's not a video game related business card. It says Ma Marco Giorgini, USS intern. What the hell is USS? The unlikely uh, subnatural ser uh, sub supernatural service. Okay, I know who to contact. I uh, the, the lady with Bruno. She has a phone. Hi. Hi. Have you seen by chance, uh, have you by any chance seen a little dog around? Do you want to see a picture of my Bruno? I've plenty on my smartphone. Yes, sure. Give me your phone. If you don't mind, I'll uh, move a little. The angle of light is uh, wrong and I can't see him well. Okay. Okay. Time to text. Done. It'd be funny if they just appeared. I think I'll, I've seen him in the park. Really? Oh, great. Not so sure. Um, I'll go there again now to search for him. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, you're, you're welcome, lady. Okay, I'm gonna save again. Because who knows? Who the hell knows? Oh, we don't have any control. Did you text them as I told you? Yes. But they didn't text back. Well, that's normal. They don't do that. How long do you think the circle can still hold? Not for long. And within an hour the stupid cultist gang will be here. And we won't be able to convince them to stop. So my message has been useless? It's impossible your friends can be here on time. They would have already been here if they were coming. 
No, there's no impossible. After all, we're dealing with improbability devices here. So, well, um... Oh? So, well, of course, we were n uh, nearby. This presence uh, altered our watches since this evening. Even if, thanks to your false information, we were looking in a completely different location. You're screwed, dude. Well, about that... Please shut up and stand back. Both of you. Let's work. New food arrived. Good. More powerful and tasty food. You see, we're hard to swallow. Whatever they are. Food knows my name. Food knows things. Alright, they're, they're saying something. Food don't. Yes, we did it. There's no we here. I'm sorry. But... That's it? No explosions? Not even smoke? He simply went away? Is he dead? These things cannot die. We cannot even really prevent them from returning. But we can push them back a little. So that they'll step back to whatever place they came from. For a few hundred years at least. But now we have to talk. Marco, we're quite disappointed by you, or with you. I humbly want to remind you that I was almost able to defeat an evil god on my own. Hey! Completely on my own. There's just a problem, and it's related to that almost. It was my first time on the field, come on. Indeed, and we know you weren't ready. You tricked us. You stole our personal devices. You almost destroyed the world. But no hard feelings, because at least you were smart enough to call us. So give us back our devices. Take a car can, and we'll disappear. Maybe in the future we'll contact you again. And we'll start fresh again. So this could still be not an end for you, okay? But... There is no but. Give us the device. Here you are. Attaboy. Now take the car can. I'm sorry. What's a car can? A memory. A memory reset candy. Another out of our world thing. I take this candy and I won't remember anything about the whole story. And for how things work in this field. Uh, it means that they'll somehow start to forget about me too. Oh, isn't he great? He knows about small things even more than I do. Hey, you said no hard feelings! He stole our devices. How can we have no hard feelings about that? But we don't have anything against you. You're an innocent bystander. A victim of his fooling plan. Yes, indeed. We know you've got one of the devices too. So give it back to us. And we're clean. No, they're gonna kill me. We disappear. You said the same things to Marco. And then you shot him. Yes, we did. Uh... Magic book. Hey, what are you doing? Just a desperate try. Let's see if I can do it one last time. What? Did you text them as I told you? No. Didn't you find the cell phone? Without them we're screwed. Not necessary. Not necessarily. I've had the chance to hear the spell. Are you drunk? How can you possibly have heard that? No time to explain. We're in a hurry here. But I'm sure I'll be able to complete the ritual now. Do you trust me? With the world's future at stake? Not even a little bit. Let's say I've recently heard the correct pronunciation, okay? What? 
Entertain me one last time, food. Let me hear your pathetic Sumerian accent again. Please don't. I'll go search for a cell phone. We'll find one. Oh, he's doing it. Oh. He's speaking Sumerian. Yes, yes, you did it. Yes, we did. But now we need to destroy the devices. And you need to take a car can. How do you know about them? It's a long story. And there's no time. They can read you. If you remember. Oh, okay. Oh, you're right. This is the end of me being a USS agent, I guess. I'm not even sure we will still be alive tomorrow. And we just risk deleting all of human life from Earth. So, I don't care too much about that. Okay. I guess... Uh, let's do that. Someone is... Uh, someone's approaching. Let's go! Saturday, 9.15. Ouch. Uh, worst hangover ever. But I think that when you save the world, you deserve it. Especially when nobody will know about it. Good morning, Paco. You woke up at last. Take a shower and get ready. We've got a presentation to prepare. Yes! Really glad that's my main worry for today. Sunday, 2 p.m. Ah, the producer texted me a few minutes ago. He said he'll wait for us near the stage. Um, it could be him. I'm a bit nervous. Don't be. He wrote to me that he simply loved our game. Let's go meet him. And he'd be like, yeah, we can't really sign you. Hey Marco, wait! Hello? You must be Mr. Giorgini and Mr. Diago. Pleased to meet you. Hello and thanks for meeting us, Mr. White. Um... Is anything wrong, Mr. D uh, Diago? Um... Mr. Giorgini? Would you mind asking for some water? I'm a bit... Uh, Thirsty, and maybe your friend needs some too. Oh, sure, not not a problem. Just a second. So he's from SSS, USS. Congratulations, Mr. Diago, you really did well. You mean the music in our game? You know what I mean. You were not only able to defeat the evil presence without any help, but you were also able to keep a low profile. We wouldn't know about you if it wasn't for our uh, psychics. Really? Real ones, I mean. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't worry. I'm really here today just because of your game. But we like you. A lot. And I guess this won't be the last time you'll help the world somehow. Oh, a sequel? What did I miss? I was just telling him how impressed I am with your skills. So... Now... Let's get things real. Let's talk about how much money I can give you to promote your work. And that was it everyone! That was a weekend at Villa Apate. That's freaking two hours and that's like... A solid, solid, like went pretty fast. Two hours. That was Villa Pate. 14 days. Can you believe that this was made in just 14 days? Like, it's. I mean, if if you would start it from the very beginning, this probably is a three-hour game or at least two and a half-hour game. And uh, and it's just it's just incredible. There's so much to it. And uh, I mean the story is lovely, the visuals are, are great, there's a lot of characters, lots of dialogue, there's um, you know obviously the, the, the uh, twists um, all, all like sprinkled all around 
And uh, that was it, everyone. That was a weekend at Villa Apate. Uh, you can see here the lovely people who worked on it, and uh, they they've done great. They've done they they done awesome. But you know what? I'm thinking that it might be USS uh, operative, so we'll have to see about um, you know about their uh, <laughs> about their future in in the game. But that was the run. That was uh, a weekend at Villa Party. You can uh, you can uh, check it out on Game Jolt right now. You can play it online. Although being such a big game, I would not advise it. I would just advise you to download it. It's available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux as downloadable builds. So get those. Maybe show it to someone who might be interested in it. It's free, so give it a go. Maybe leave some feedback. Say what you like, what you didn't like, and yeah, uh, you know, keep in mind 14 days. This is just incredible work. Uh, unbelievable, you know, skill and um, and you know ability to, to make so much content in such a small amount of time and good content, not just content. So uh, that was it. A weekend at Villa Party. You can find it on Game Jewel. Just see the link in the description below if you want to get it. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Thanks for being here for two hours. I really wanted to get uh, through all of this, and I, I'm, I'm glad I, this is this is the biggest adventure jam 2021 game that I covered. Uh, you can check out other other games from this jam on my channel, Cryptic Hybrid, uh, you know, youtube.com slash cryptic hybrid or bitchu.com slash cryptic hybrid. Please subscribe on both if you want to see all the cool games that I cover. And after you do that, also please take just half a minute to see the ways through which you can support me financially so I can continue doing gaming coverage like this for a very long time. The best way, I, I mentioned it previously, the best way to support me uh, is to go to cryptichybrid.locals.com and subscribe there. It's a monthly subscription service, kind of like Patreon, except it's better than Patreon because it's not Patreon. And uh, it's four dollars a month, and you get tons of perks for those four dollars. It's like a ma magazine subscription, except it's really pretty cheap. Uh, you get early access to videos. You get monthly support-only live streams. You get to vote on what games I'm gonna play on specific live streams. There's one live stream coming up like that, so you can decide what I'm going to play during that live stream. And there's multiple live streams like that uh, during the month. Uh, you get behind-the-scenes content. Uh, you get pictures of my lovely dog. You get to ask questions for future interviews that I that, um, that I do. You'll be the first one to know who I interview, and you can submit your questions. And I'm gonna try to uh, to put those questions um, to the person or persons I'm interviewing. So you take priority in terms of that, and uh, you can also participate in game giveaways. Um, so check it out, cryptichub.locals.com. Uh, if you don't have the you know the, the money for that, you can uh, give me just one. Um, uh, direct donation just one time through the PayPal link in the description. You can donate basic attention tokens if you use the Brave roster and check out any video of mine on YouTube or any post that I make on uh, Twitter at Cryptic Hybrid. You can donate cryptocurrency to the Patreon link also in the description. Or last but not least, you can use the Humble Store affiliate link that's in the description, um, like everything. And uh, you just use that before buying anything from the Humble Store. You get what you want and you don't pay anything extra. W using that link just tells that store to send me a small percentage of the money you spend there. So it's a very small thing that you can do, but it goes a very, very long way. That was it everyone, quite the freaking marathon, but I'm uh, I'm really glad I did it. A weekend at uh, Villa Apate, maybe, you know, maybe we'll get to see a sequel uh, in a future game jam or, or earlier, who knows? But uh, yeah, until that happens, thank you for watching and have an awesome day.